Your sister says we were in the sun over there. So let's go back. And what's 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 the message? It's happening again. What is what is happening again? Are you recording this? You don't mind? I do. You should oh. always ask first. <laughs> okay, I just did. May I record? What's that? Hair? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Getting grayer and grayer every day. <laughs> I'm not going to color it. <laughs> one dollar. One, oh, okay. <laughs> one dollar for what? Militant movement? You know, in fact, this money on it. We're just a dedication to get out of here. Not too cold to get money. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's like hidden, like by a little bit of money, it's hidden like way underneath, like 20 different things. But aren't socialists the ones who are actually not so much in love with the Jews? To put it mildly. Why do you say that? Well, like national socialism, for instance, no? Well, okay, so like the Soviet Union, for instance, USSR. So the, so the national socialism, that, so that gets exact, exactly to the heart of this point, right? Uh -huh. Because it, like in Germany in the 30s, you have uh -huh. this deep crisis, unemployment and so on. Where? And in Germany, in the 30s. You mean we have here crisis or in no, Germany in, in Germany, the 30s? In the, the 30s. 30s. You have this deep, deep social crisis. The hyperinflation, you mean? Right. Okay, you unemployment, have, 1929. You have, uh -huh. you have a, a powerful, large and powerful socialist party and a large and powerful communist, par communist party. Correct, the yes. Nazis come along, they call themselves national socialists, uh -huh. and they say to the German working people, the problem is not the bosses. The problem is the Jewish bosses. The problem is not the landlords. The problem is the Jewish bo Jewish bosses, and that's the thing that twists it twists it into precisely into this. So socialism is bad, exactly. No, national the socialist, socialism, yeah. Nazism is the opposite. But it's the, it's the opposite. Of the okay, well, but sort of a, this, this socialism is socialism. Group, um, you know that. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez belongs to the Democratic Socialists yeah, of America. Yeah. They're very anti-Israel. They voted to yeah. boycott Israel the horrible. Yes, yes, and yeah. they did it. They did it on Shabbat when Jews could not show up. You know, uh, to, you know when you know, or religious Jews couldn't show up mm -hmm. to, to their meeting. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. so there's lots of there's lots of forces uh -huh. on the left right. who are anti-Semitic. Absolutely. In America. And in the world. In, in the world, in America. Correct, yes. In America, in, the, in Britain, like in the Labour Party. I agree, Britain, yes. And, and so on. Uh -huh. But that's really, uh, you know, it, 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 in our view, that's not genuine socialism. That's not genuine socialism. So what is genuine socialism? I think, so you need, genuine socialism is the idea that working people need their own political party, they need their own, need their own government. Need their own government. But they they had their own government. We had uh, so, uh, workers surrounding the largest country the world has ever known, and there were nothing but the workers. Politburo, they had to, you had to be a worker, so, you had to be a peasant, you had to come from this what so they call the, working so class we, we, to advance within so, the Communist Party ranks, so we, right? We come from we come uh -huh. from the tradition of those people in the Soviet Union who opposed the rise of Stalin. A tradition of the, the people who the political tradition. There was no opposition. Like, 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 like the who? left Trotsky, the left opposition. There were thousands of people, thousands of people who were subsequently. So murdered, you think the Trotsky? So you think Trotsky was a good man? Yes. Seriously. Yes. Seriously. And what good did he do? What? what good did he do? They, I think the Russian Revolution was made thanks to him exactly, and that's the and most. Le and Lenin and the Russian Revolution was a good thing. Seriously? Yes, absolutely. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> what good came out of it? 
Well, what happened was... Oh, now what, what happened? happened later, oh, what happened, what happened later. 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 But how did but it the start? Revolu the revolution itself was a, it was mass, a good thing. Was a mass Seriously? Revolution. Yes, it was a good mass thing against revolution. the czar. And the czar was like a bad guy and the... Yeah, don't you think? I don't think so at all. Really? I absolutely don't. Compared to the reds, nothing was better, worse than the reds. A good red is a dead red in my vocabulary. Yeah, so then we don't, then well, we don't listen, agree at all. The reason, yeah, look, so. the reason I'm saying is that is because you are an American-born person, okay? No, actually, I'm not. Where, 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 where were you born? In Canada. In Canada, okay, whatever. You're yeah. a Western-born person. Yeah. I was the one who was born behind there in curtain. I was the one who was born in the USSR, Union of the Soviet yeah, yeah. Socialist right. Republics, right. all right? Under Stalin. So, after no, Stalin. after Stalin. Yeah. So, thank God. Yeah. Under Stalin, probably I would have been here. So, so, so when you tell me that socialism in any iteration is a good thing, I respectfully disagree. Because socialism by any name is a bad thing. National socialism, USSR, uh, democratic socialism. Well, socialism is not my definition. It's a strict, well, wait, it's not my definition. What is socialism is a lack of two things. It's very simple. Socialism is the system where there is no private property. No private. No Means private property. property. Well, forget about the, the Marxist, 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 Marxist. No, that's personal property. There is a definition between private property and personal property. For example, private property is, in other words, unmovable property. Factories is a private property. You cannot move them. Right. Owning a house, an apartment. Is is is, is 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 totally illegal and outlet in in socialism. Second thing is profit. The basis of uh, success of a capitalist country is making a profit. That's the fundamental thing. Profit was completely profitly. Well, you're selling your newspaper, okay? You can sell it for one dollar or two dollars. But somebody who made newspaper was making a profit. Somebody somebody who was making paper was making a profit. Somebody who's making your jacket yeah, was making a profit. That's exactly. Why, that's why and so much of the world is starving without electricity. That's why we only have 10%. You asked me about, by the way, definition of social. Let me finish with that. Okay. So profit was criminal, criminalized in a socialist country. And that's where there is a, some difference between socialism and Nazis, national socialism. The big difference between the, national, the two. Nazism was a form of capitalism. The, no, 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 it's not. So, so, so national socialism is the system where yes, the groups of the world were allowed to have their fa factories, and the Messer Schmitts of the world, uh, I mean of Germany, I should right, say, yeah. uh, were allowed to have their factories. However, the government dictated them what to produce. So yes, they were private. Private property, obviously, right. profit you know, was not criminalized. But in, in World War Two, in, but in, World, in World War in World War Two in the United States, uh -huh. the during the war uh -huh. war production, the government dictated to the capitalists what they could did. We have do. did we have elections? Yes. In America, were there elections in Germany? Fake elections. Well, Fake. so. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's yeah. the difference between yeah. socialism and our system of no, governance no, I, I and the economic system. So right I or think wrong? actually that nas so-called national socialism, uh -huh. Nazism, is the opposite of so opposite of socialism and a form of capitalist rule under conditions of extreme crisis. Now, what's your definition of socialism now? Now that I told you my definition so, of socialism, what is socialism in your view? It's when the working class. Uh -huh. Working class okay. and its allies takes political power, nationalizes the means of production, as you said, okay. and organizes society for the benefit of the of the majority of the population okay. and not small minority. Fine. So it happened in Russia, and, right? Hmm? It, it happened in the USSR, right? In the very beginning. Okay. It happened in China, right? Well, no, China. It happened. Summer, in Cambodia, right? No. It happened in not. Vietnam. No. And Laos. No. And uh, no. Mozambique. No. And Angola. No, I think. And it's happening in, in Venezuela right now. <laughs> no. No. I, I, no, no. In all of these cases. Okay, where, where am I wrong? In all of these cases, uh -huh. I think you're talking about a kind of Stalinist perversion of perversion. Perversion. Distortion of it. And, uh -huh. not, and not 
the original ideas of the Russian Revolution, the ideas of Lenin and Trotsky. Yeah, what, was, what was the idea? Anyhow, this is good yeah. to talk to you, but I'm going to continue the discussion with other people. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. What do I do here? What kind of job do you have? I am a, I have, I have, I am a an amateur no, filmer. Ah. <laughs> Your time to I am I am a concerned American citizen. No, what do you do for job? I mean, so I make money. I make a profit. Like like Never a capitalist. <laughs> I'm in furniture business, let me put it this way. Yes. Oh, I love furniture. I like art, you know, I like the skill of building furniture. Well, I don't build it. The workers in Brazil build it. I sell it. So it's wood, nice. Huh? It's wood, it's all solid wood, that's right. My husband's an architect, but he made all our furniture. Uh -huh. His brother's a carpenter, woodworker. And that's that's nice. What, what do you do? I'm a nurse. You're a nurse. That's a nice profession. Oh, I love it. I love it. So I don't understand I'm a what. I'm nurse what? now. I was yes, intensive care. I know. I know. I know. I know. So I we see. twelve-hour shifts are hard. But what, what, what are they trying, you know, to do with these socialist ideas? I'm, I'm very, very confused. Everybody in this country that's truly not Stalinist, because we understand. You know, I've been to Czech Republic. I've been to Hungary. We're going to Poland. And they all suffer. Exactly. They all suffer from socialism. It's the biggest lie in the world is that what was Stalinism was, is what... It wasn't... Wait, wait, wait. Let me stop for one second. It wasn't Stalin who sent troops to Czechoslovakia to crush uh, their... Stalinism. Why? The, the Prague Spring. It wasn't Stalin who sent the troops in 1956 uh, to Hungary. No, it was so, Stalinism. Well, then uh, when Khrushchev came, he denounced the Stalinism. And after Khrushchev, there was no Stalinism anymore. I mean, we supported Leon Trotsky, we supported those who were standing up for real socialism. Uh -huh. And why did real socialism work? And how do you think it will well, work? I, think, I, I mean, I went to Cuba with my union last year, and I'm yeah. amazing to see every really? child born to be honored and respected instead of, if you're poor, so, I look at the schools now in the Bronx where you see these kids who cannot believe that So Cuba is your ideal of socialism? Cuba is my ideal of the type of mentality that can be created if you don't have the profit motive. Are you serious? Oh, I love have you been to Cuba? Well, I lived in the USSR, Have you been lady. To Cuba? I lived in a worse place than Cuba. Well, the USSR. Stood up against the USSR too. How did they? How did they stand in up against? Angola, when they fought to defend the. Well, the Cuba only existed thanks to the lavish, I mean, lavish subsidies from the Soviet Union by well, the tunes of about six billion a year. Well, the, uh, it's struggling, exactly. It's still struggling. That's, I mean, what look. Been, that's what we've been told for 61 years, that it's going to fall any minute. Uh, well, yeah. Why hasn't it? Well, it's suffering. Has it succeeded? Mm -hmm. I spent two uh -huh. weeks in this town where if you told and they the were people amazed. they were suffering, really? well, they're not, they don't have all the you know, riches that some people here have. They don't have the poverty that some people here have. You don't see people on the streets and what is, You don't see people sleeping on the streets like you do in New York. Well, you know why you don't see them? Because they wish the way. Oh, because the government. Listen, I came from the USSR. So don't tell me. Don't tell me but that. That's not the USSR. Well, this is how it works. It's worse than the USSR. I came from USSR. No, I came from USSR. Union. I was 29 years old when I came here, so I know what it's like living over there. What year? 1959. You were? I was born in 1959. So, <laughs> so I'm 60 by now. But you are? yes, oh my God. simple math. So so yes, so it's not like I heard about the suffering or the evils of socialists from somebody else from the books. I I, I experienced I it. I, I experienced. I remember a conversation with a Cuban girl when I was going to college, and there were some Cuban students so was there, and uh, I was telling her. For, to, in my mind, I saw that every foreigner lived better than the USSR. Never did it cross my mind that there were places worse than the USSR back then. So we had a conversation about life in the USSR and in Cuba, and I was assuming that you know life in Cuba was better than the USSR. What year is this? Uh, it was 1980, uh, uh, between 1977 and 83. Oh, that's when I was going to last, college. Uh -huh. Yes, so somewhere in the late 70s, early 80s, and she was telling me that. Well, Cuba is only by then was like what, 40 years. It was what, 58 the revolution. Uh, 
So it was like, what, uh, 40, 40 uh, years uh, old or so, 30 years old. And uh, she was telling me that, well, USSR had a revolution for uh, the past, what, 60, 70 years or so. And uh, like when Cuban revolution is old as uh, the Soviet revolution, then life will be as good, that's what I realized later on, in Cuba as it is in USSR. And I knew the well, USSR was, was hor the, the li no, the life was horrible in USSR. The life, wait, well, one second. The life was horrible in USSR, but for this Cuban girl, some, life life was, the bureaucrats was, was good. good. For the bureaucrats, not that good. Khrushchev didn't end up well when he was deposed. Life yeah. wasn't good was, for he anybody. Was, he was the last drugs. The drugs. So, but, but uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you, you wanted to say something. So well, you said... I mean, we disagree. So let's, we disagree. I think there's no future for humanity with the capitalist system and the imperialist system rule. You think that the capitalist system, so we disagree. We'll just watch what happens. We'll meet again in 10 years. I'll be dead. <laughs> oh, he'll be fine. Yeah. Thanks to American medicine, by the way. If you were in Cuba, you would have been dead. With their medicine, with the medical medical inventions and medical research that costs billions and billions of dollars, that's why the whole world, the life expectancy, life expectancy has increased dramatically. So you'll be fine, thanks to capitalism, thanks to research. Go check the information on that. It has poverty is the first time in the year it's now starting to go down. Poverty is the lowest level ever. How long do you think people lived in 19, uh, let's say, the turn of the 20th century? imperialist country in the world and you're seeing how many homeless people you're going to see between now and when you get home. Why? Over here? Why? They're sick people. Because we closed the mental institutions. That's why. why did, we didn't. You and I didn't. Who did? Well, maybe Patsas, uh, like uh, the likes uh, of, uh, uh, what's his name, de Blasio? You know, this is one of the reasons. It's, it's a internationally happening. <laughs> anyway. Okay, live a long and prosperous, prosperous life. <laughs>